This is at home with Miss Joan this morning, and a preacher has brought in a lot of squash from the garden. And uh, many of you that watched my video, uh, I made it about six months ago, called uh, Fried Squash from Frozen Squash. Uh, I showed you how to cook it after it's been frozen in the deep freeze for a long time. Well, today, several of you asked me, how do you put it up for the deep freeze, Miss Joan? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, I just get a kind of an oblong container. This is a uh, it's a cake plate, and here's the bottom of a, a metal pan. And I'm going to use them to, uh, what you call, flash freeze my squash, okay? So I'm just going to take a, these have already been washed, cut the end off, and then we just cut it in little circles just like you do, okay? Like that. All right, I've already got some already cut up here, and I take a uh, wax paper. You can use any kind of paper, I guess. Parchment paper is more expensive, so the cheapest way to do it is use some wax paper. I pull a piece out, and uh, I put it in the bottom of my, this is a cake plate, my container that I'm gonna freeze the squash in. All right, and then I lay it out like cookies, like you was baking cookies on a cookie sheet. I'm trying to do this fast, because they tell me that you guys don't watch a video over a couple, <laughs> couple of minutes, and it's so hard to do something uh, like this in just a couple of minutes. But anyway, you see how, can you get a shot of that? Preacher's helping me this morning. I got a new cell phone, so we're trying it out uh, this morning. But you see how I'm laying them separate like this so they don't touch like cookies? Well, okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is take another piece of uh, wax paper, lay it, put it on top of it, okay? And I'm going to keep layering these until I run out of squash. See? Just keep layering them. And when I get this full, or go to this second pan, oh, they may be uh, ever how many layers I want till I get to the top. Then I'll take it to my freezer and I'll let it freeze real hard, okay? And then I'll bring it back into the house and they'll, they'll I'll take each one of them then and put them in a gallon bag. These are the freezer bags. Now, the, uh, they make gallon bags just like this. That's more like um, just household bags. But you want to buy the freezer, made especially for the deep freeze bags. They're thicker, okay? And then after they're frozen, I'm going to put them in here. And the good part about that is, is when you go to cook them, they'll kind of shake out of the bag, similar to French fries. You know how you've done them before. They all shook together, kind of gummy. Well, I'm going to show you one. I pulled it out of the freezer. This is some of the ones that uh, we did in 21. See this? Now, these have been sitting out uh, a few minutes because we've been getting ready for the video. But see how they, I could reach in there if I wanted to and get them, see, like that. Well, if you watch that video of uh, frozen squash, fr uh, frying frozen squash, I've got it on my 40, this is my 46th video, I think. But anyway, you'll see how we fry this up. And uh, it's real easy and real good. But the girls ask me, well, how do you do your squash? Well, I, it's called flash freezing. I've been doing this for years. Now, I did do a little test here the other week, and you got to watch that other video to understand why. Because I run hot water over this, and I squeeze it, and I get all the water out. I learned that you can also just put it in your bags, and you can still cook it the way that uh, I did on my other video without the flash freezing but that's how we do ours flash freezing but this summer i'm going to try some without the flash freezing and take out this step and i learned when you cook it the way i do then it, it's just as good we done tried one this summer and preacher approved it <laughs> so it's good but anyway i hope this helps you girls learning how to freeze your squash because if you've got a garden or you're going to these farmers markets and getting some of this fresh squash uh, you need to preserve it because it is so good. Better than anything you can buy in the frozen food section of the grocery store. Thank y'all for tuning in to At Home with Miss Joan. And thank Preacher for helping me and trying out this new camera.